<laughs> What's up everyone? Coconut head is back. <laughs> it's just really a lot. It's a lot. It's green. If you think what the fuck is happening, then you probably missed my last video. <laughs> yeah. But in this video, we're not talking about hair. We're talking about clothing. Stuff for your body that you put on. This is actually the second part, the sequel of my first video where I ordered stuff of brands that want to collab with me. Which means brands write me emails. Hey, we love your content. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm gonna order myself. I never trust them. So that's why I have birthed this series. I have now decided that it's gonna be a series. And in this particular video, I have decided that I want to order from clothing brands that want to collab with me because there are a lot of them. But you know, that's why I'm making this video. I just want to see what the customer gets. No piece of paper in front of my mouth. And that's how the Germans would say it. Let's see who wants to collab with me, first of all, because it's not many people. I'm just kidding. It's just my inbox is so full. <laughs> the first brand we're gonna try is Pumier. And Rainy wrote that Pumier is an Amazon-based clothing brand. And they told me a lot of times. I don't think any brand tried to collab with me more than this one. I don't think I've ever tried an Amazon shop and just looking at the website at the Amazon site right now, it actually kind of looks like skims. I'm wondering, is this supposed to be a dupe maybe? Yeah, they have shapewear but they also have very similar colors to skims and very similar dresses. Are they trying to like get onto the Kim Kardashian? train choo choo normally i wouldn't gravitate to a brand like this but i have to say the fact that they do look so similar to the skim dresses made me wonder is it a good dupe dupe with a b <laughs> or is it gonna be bad quality because the prices are definitely cheaper so i would just say let's look at my skims dupe skims dupe the packaging is actually kind of cute. You can see all of these women's. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> Scandalous. Right off the bat, it feels not bad. I love that tech was so in the focus. <laughs> Why am I sitting here? <laughs> $43.99. Good transition. <laughs> what are our thoughts? I don't know if I like this. It's a very, very thin fabric. Just really feels like skims, but just $40 skims. <laughs> but I guess it does its job. It's, it's a fucking brown dress. I will still put the Kim K dress right beside it, just as the comparison so you could see. Where are my socks? Doesn't want to stay down. <laughs> if you're really on a budget, nobody's gonna notice. Like you could probably wear this and say, ah, it's Kim's. And everybody would be like, oh, wow. What do you think? Where is this dress made, huh? No need to be mad at the imperfect part of our bodies. Oh, who designed this? <laughs> Is there some information about something? Well, if I find out any more, I will let you know. I guess we can just assume that it's probably made unethically, made in China. Did I just say China? <laughs> I think it's time for the next one. Next, I got a mail by Grace from White Fox. And to be honest, I heard about White Fox before. I feel like it's a very popular clothing brand brand in America. Actually, <laughs> it's Australia. <laughs> Why did I think it was America? Oh no, there is also a US store. Which one is the original one? I have seen this brand a lot of times on Instagram. Honestly, mostly a while back in the good 2016. For some reason, I associate... Associate? 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 Associate. Association. Association. Associate. Associate. It's so shit. For some reason, I associate... For some reason, I associate White Fox Boutique with 
Nicole Guerrero, Carly Bible, just like old school fashion YouTube. That's just my association. The website is very much a lot. I feel like it is a very Instagram brand, very social media brand. I was completely overwhelmed. Look at all these categories. 2000 products. I realized that I actually have quite some cool stuff. I found a lot that I liked, but I also realized they don't even have plus sizes. They just have XL. That is where it stops. That made me go, mm. I also found a couple of dresses which look suspiciously similar to poster girl dresses like this one literally looks exactly like this one poster girl dress. We also have this situation which you know you can't tell me that this is not inspired by poster girl. <laughs> I found this two piece Y2K set. If you know me you know how much of my style this is. <laughs> I'm sorry, but do I not just look like the most beautiful fairy? <laughs> I do have to say though that I'm wearing like an invisible bra underneath. Don't think that this top itself gives you this kind of a boob push. It's just very tight now. I mean, I don't have big boobs. If you have big boobs, they will burst. It's just maybe a little bit loose. Like it could just go flying if I don't pay attention. I do have to say that the fabric is maybe a little... Eh. Yeah. I feel like it could break quickly. Like the little butterflies, they could just go flying. I also bought this because I thought this could go on top of this if it's just a little bit too chilly on its own. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. I think somebody wore this and then sent it back. I mean, the perfume smells nice. Oh, the armpits don't smell nice. <laughs> that actually never happened to me before that I get a piece that is so obviously worn and not just for a minute of trying it on, but rather for maybe a whole night. I mean, I don't even know how they did this because this is see-through. Smell this. <laughs> Who wore this? I'll call him. Do you think it smells like a man? Yes. Disgusting shit. Why are you looking like this? Is that Dior Sauvage? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Smell the armpits. <laughs> I'm good. I'm smelling the armpits. Do you like this outfit? The skirt not so much, but yeah, it's cute. Why do you not like the skirt? The shape of it. I mean, it is a little boxy, but it is also very fairy. <gasps> Wait, Taco's eating this. My theory is somebody wore this, but they made out with somebody who wore Dior Sauvage. I think stuff like this can happen like if you're a shop that offers returns i'm just gonna wash it and then it's fine right tucky <laughs> oh, it smells sour like funky oh i forgot something that's so much better cute let me just quickly tell you the price the top and the skirt both are 34.95 euros which makes the set a total of About 70 euros. It's okay. Just the fact that I'm so happy about this outfit, it makes it worth it to me personally right now. The Dior Sauvage, 43.95. I also ordered another outfit. <laughs> These are some noisy pants. It's just this type of PU material that really makes you sweat. Do they look good or do they look absolutely horrible? I cannot decide. <laughs> I can't see anything. I don't have a mirror actually. I don't think I could wear these pants for longer than five minutes because my legs are already wet wet. It's not the best sister's quality. I can already tell it's like very thin and I feel like these feathers are gonna fall off quicker than my left toe when it's winter outside and I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> I don't feel like it could like move. That's cute. I feel supported in my A cup. <laughs> I also ordered this black two-piece. I brought it with me on holidays. I was shooting in Spain <laughs> and I have good news and bad news. Good news is I got many compliments for this outfit. Bad news is it already ripped. Like the sleeve ripped off of the outfit. Like the cups it was like connected i didn't even wear it a whole day and it just ripped so the pants are 50 dollars and the top 25 dollars uh euros man these pants are so noisy it actually sounds like you're ripping a fart when you're just standing and like moving the slightest bit 
Who was that? The next brand we're gonna look at is Motel Rocks. I feel like that's also quite a known brand. They wrote TikTok collab with Motel Rocks. We love your content and would love to give you two items in exchange for content on TikTok. You know what? I'm just gonna buy those two items myself. <laughs> So when I go onto their website, I definitely have to say that it is more on the boring side <laughs> for me personally. I definitely had troubles even finding something because most of it was just like... <sighs> So I bought the Runita neck holder top made from sequins and the Motel X Olivia nail hats. Who's Olivia nail? She looks cute. Well, apparently Motel Rocks are doing collabs with influencers who get to create their own fashion collection. I guess for me, they just wanted a TikTok and gift me two pieces. <laughs> so let's talk about the top first. I'm wearing it like the model on the picture, but somehow it's not adding up. Like I have these holes there, you can see the the way it's like doing this and like you can like look into my boob yeah i feel like that's much better i like the top like this like this it's really cute i love the color i love the sequins this is what it looks like from the back i do not quite so much feel the pants do you see the pants <laughs> it's just not giving me anything look who wants to say hello what a good little boy. The top was 18 euros and the pants 58 euros. Price wise, we're moving a little bit above White Fox. I feel like the quality is maybe a little better, but I could probably just think that because it's a little more expensive. Like, I actually don't know shit. <laughs> I also bought this dress. <laughs> I do have to say that this does not look flattering at all. I can only compare it to the dress that I bought from AIM Studio. It wasn't made from silk, but it was still a very similar cut. And compared to the AIM Studio dress, this is just so bad. <laughs> Whenever you move, you're gonna see some nipple. I just know it. Ah! Oh, so they have this thing that also AIM Studio has. And then again, you can snatch yourself much better. Is this an AIM Studio copy though? I mean, I don't know if AIM Studio invented these thingies to snatch your waist, but it definitely accentuates my belly and the boob problem is still there. Like AIM Studio at least had the solution that you had this built-in bra. This is just very, very loose. Oh, and I also don't like that when this flips down there that you can see the inner fabric which is definitely not silk anymore <laughs> i just decided that i really really love this dress and i most certainly do not want to send it back and that's definitely not because i just ate spaghetti with tomato sauce and spilled it all over this dress next we are going to look at uv me i actually got a couple of messages from them on instagram one in 2018 one in 2020 which was just high 2021 later in 2021 and then oh they actually double texted <laughs> actually triple texted quadruple texted they say they are a well-known brand selling every kind of asian fashion you can imagine i've actually seen the shop before and it actually looks kind of cute but it also kind of looks like drop shipping and they also sell wigs and colored contact lenses so i also really wanted to see what kind of wigs they have i also picked a little outfit i did actually order two wigs one is this princess cut purple wig i really like the cut because it's this kind of chunky layers that i personally really like and the second one that i ordered is uh this one <laughs> which is literally my hairstyle right now let's see which one is better mine or the wig scissors i guess that means that i need to ruin my own hairstyle <laughs> i wonder if it's already styled like in the picture <laughs> looks like the karen not a karen. karen what am i doing wrong why are the bangs like this i feel like i just need to cut the bangs but i do have to say that the bangs don't look anything like the picture right now well i think that is not the one this wig was 35 dollars i'm just glad i don't even need this and i have this hairstyle on my own <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Cute. I mean, yes, it is definitely very synthetic. The roots, just like from far away. I don't think it even looks that plasticky and that synthetic. Let me actually style the bangs a little bit. Maybe this is gonna be my look for now. Okay, add it to myself. I think I kind of just burnt my bangs just now with my straightener. I think that was a great uh, test for everyone out there. This is not heat proof. <laughs> I don't think you can do anything with this to be honest other than maybe cut it or use the Dyson for a little bit of swoosh in the bangs. Your hair will burn away. I mean the wig's hair not your own. But other than that I think it's actually a really cute look. Does it look real in the back? All in all it's definitely not the most high quality wig but I think it's still cute. <laughs> this one was $32.99 so even cheaper than the other wig that I wore. That wig, trash. The black wig actually lost so many long black hairs. Now I need to collect them from my bed and it's actually really gross. And this is my outfit. As you can see, I just ordered a huge sweater. It's just super, super thin. It just is not a hoodie. <laughs> it is like a very thin sweatshirt, but in general, it's okay. But then when you turn around, you see this. Why? It's like the print from the front, but like ugly in the back. Maybe another one was like laying underneath or like they will just like put on top of each other. It was not dry yet, maybe. And then this is from another hoodie. Let me quickly compare it with the picture on the website. Hmm. Can you see her back in the mirror and there's like a little gray line? Maybe it is supposed to be there and it's like this and like it's even there on the picture and it's supposed to be like this, but they don't show any other pictures from the back. It just looks a lot more high quality on the picture. I can't even like tell you what exactly it is. Maybe it's just thicker on the picture. It's also so short. Like you can almost see my vagina. Also, why is there like a straight line down here? This does not make me super happy. Very much AliExpress, very much. I also have these, these things, um, like these socks. Ignore them, just look at the tights. Hello kitties, all over it. That is so adorable. I think these might be my favorite tights that I have ever seen or worn. These are also kind of cute. Sorry for the mess. That is the top from White Fox. I also ordered something else that is very interesting. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of like Adidas superstars, but with Hello Kitty, as you can see. I do have to say they look very adorable, especially with these leg gloves. They're very, very cute. Totally my thing. Let me just walk around with them to see if they're comfortable. Oh, they definitely don't feel like Adidas superstars. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not horrible to walk in. I feel like it's gonna scratch the back of my foot open because it's not very padded there. You could just wear them like for a couple of hours. Maybe not necessarily to go on a walk in a forest for five hours. All in all, I do have to say, I don't think I will be ordering from UV Me again. If I could give you an advice, if you order there, maybe just order accessories because the fashion is not fashioning. I think with the wigs, you really have to be lucky. It can be a hit or a miss. And for AliExpress, it, it do be kind of overpriced. Just laying that out there. <laughs> This hoodie is so noisy. Are we ready for the last brand? Because it's gonna be Pretty Little Thing. She wants to offer me a cooperation in the form of advertising the products in my YouTube video, which she's getting now, I guess. For free! <gasps> the brand taking over your social media feeds with our killer looks and next level aesthetic that'll have you double tapping you. <laughs> From the latest trend-led pieces to celebrity-inspired looks to the everyday wardrobe and that ultimate party pays. This one is from the UK. Didn't they also do collabs with Little Mix? But I definitely noticed very fast that there is a petite, a tall, and a plus size section, which is great because you obviously have a little bit more variety than, for example, White Fox. Shape, petite, maternity, PLT sustainability. By using materials that are more sustainably sourced, we're hoping to reduce the impact on the environment. It's probably still fast fashion, but at least maybe a little bit. They just, they're trying, you know? They also have <laughs> a lot. 
26,550 styles. Bro, very much a lot. <laughs> but I have to say I had so many issues ordering there because the website was so glitchy So first off I picked this shape red motocross maxi maxi <laughs> Sorry, it's like <laughs> it's a set, but you buy it individually. And then I also found this turquoise. I can't pronounce this. I'll just say it French. Turquoise diamante. <laughs> Why is it spelled like this? Beach flores. <laughs> and I also bought turquoise bikini so I could wear it underneath. So I'm not naked, you know. <laughs> Here it is. It's, it's kind, kind of cool. But I also feel like now that I see it on myself, that is something Naomi from 2018 would have worn. She would have worn this to shit. I don't know if that's necessarily Naomi 2023. I don't even think this is Naomi 2020. I don't know why I picked this. The fabric is so thin. <laughs> it's so like, it's almost see-through. I think I would have literally gone out like this when I was 18. I would have danced the club to shred. Also, it has these slits in the skirt and I also <laughs> always had slits in my skirt or at least one because then I was able to freely dance. Then I always dance like this. <laughs> Together with my friend, we had the same skirt, the Primark skirts with the slit on the slide side. And we were rocking it. We owned the town. And this gives me that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you would see me in the bed right now like this? Man, it's been a long day. I want to eat the rest of my spaghetti. Oh man, will I wear this? Comment down below if I should wear this. End of discussion. The bodysuit was 1960 euros and the skirt was 1680 euros. That's very cheap, but it also feels like that. <laughs> so I think it looks good. I do have to mention though that I bought the bikini separately. Like it does not come with the bikini. I love the glitter effect. I don't even know if you can see it. Does it give you glitter? Glitter? It definitely looks really cool and like very glittery. Let's just compare the pants with the pants on the picture. Do you think that's the same pants? Because <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Somehow she has this seam going on here and maybe even on the sides and like it's just ruffled there. And these ones don't have that. They're also very high waisted. They're too tight for that. Like I could not get them over my hips. They're definitely different. Who is this? Wanna see some real speed, bitch? I'll show you some real speed. Other than that, I think it's a cute outfit. We think it's cute, right? But do you still think it's cute when I tell you that the pants were 100 and six euros yeah and the top was 35 euros that is a number. a number i think we've tried it all on what is my verdict my favorite outfit is no doubt the pink butterfly one from white fox boutique and i have to say this top i really love it it's so cute uv me mm, pretty little thing mm. <laughs> I can only say that none of these were perfect, but I think if you order from any of these places, just, you know, maybe watch a Naomi John video <laughs> before, just so you know what you're getting yourself into. I couldn't even tell you my favorite shop because all of them had hits and misses. I honestly don't think I will order from any of these again. <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below who you think was the best pick out of all of these. Did you have experiences with any of these shops? Please also feel free to let everybody know in the comments. Oh yeah, and I really like this wig. I think now I want to get back to my usual hair. I hate bangs. <laughs> it is 1 a.m. I'm going to finish my spaghetti with tomato sauce now. And with that I say, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Adios! <laughs>